But something happened when I was doing my research. All of the verses that I had as proof texts to prove that Jesus is God, I found out that the translation for all of them was controversial. Oh, okay. It depended in, in several of the cases where you put the comma. <laughs> yes. Whether yes. because there are no comma, there were no commas in the early early Greek. Right. Everything was written in capital le capital letters, and there was no punctuation of any kind. So the translators arbitrarily had to put in commas somewhere, and it depended on where you put the comma or if you put a period. Mm -hmm what the verse actually meant. Even in, uh, in Isaiah 9, 6, uh, I found out that in some translations, instead of saying mighty God, it says uh, mighty hero. Oh, yes, yes. In fact, in the Luther version of the Bible in German, that's exactly what it says. Oh, really? Okay. It says, uh, mächtiger Held, which in English would be mighty hero. Really? And, and this uh, is Luther's translation. This is Luther's wow, translation. Wow, okay. Yeah. But what I, what I ended up doing, I said, well, I know that what we believe is true. Yeah. <laughs> so the right translation is the translation that backs up what, uh, what, you're, yeah, what right. I want to say. Yeah, so right. for years, I used, those, I used those verses. I see. One thing that that, that experience that I just talked to you about did to me from that moment on I decided when I talked about God, I was only going to use biblical language. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to use theological terms. I wasn't going to use the term Trinity. I knew because I had grown up with the Trinity and as I was saying the things that you learn when you're young just have a, a powerful hold on your life. Uh, I, for some reason, I'd never really questioned the Trinity for a long time. I didn't question any of the things that I had learned as a Baptist. Mm, mm. I trusted my dad, and he was a good man. Mm -hmm. And a Baptist preacher. And said. a Baptist yeah. preacher. Wow, okay. And, uh, but I decided I was just going to use biblical language. Yeah. Uh, and then I found that the oneness movement was quite extensive, and uh, it's very similar to what Sibelius mm -hmm. preached before the Trinity doctrine was fully uh, formulated. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I, I like to think it was a step back in the right direction. A step back in the right direction, it yeah, was, okay. Yes. Uh,